Yo guys, before we get into today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to Aoa.com for sponsoring this video. Aoa is an awesome multi-platform site where you can buy yourself some cheap blueprint credit and items. Use the code EJU for 3% discount and check out. The link will be in the description. Yo guys, do you guys want to win the chance of possibly winning yourself a pair of Grey Playmaker Apex guys? Well, I'm going to be giving these away at 25,000 subscribers. That's right, Grey Playmaker Apex. These are getting very super rare in the game, guys. They haven't dropped in the RLCS drops for a very long while now, at least probably close to a year. They may never drop again, as you can see right here on the car. Uh, they're currently worth about probably 100 pure keys on PS4. So yeah, if you guys want a chance to win these, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on today's video, we very much appreciate it. And these will be given away at 25,000 subscribers. Uh, in a live stream when we hit 25k, uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have subscribed and you will be a part of this giveaway for Grey Playmaker Apex. Anyway guys, enjoy the video and good luck. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Rocket League video. And today guys, we've just had the huge update. Uh, last night I streamed, I had a great time. Uh, we got the new Blueprint system, Rocket Pass 5 just came out. We got a new archiving system, the item shop. I'll quickly show you a quick few things, uh, and then we're going to be getting into a 250 PCC uh, Blueprint revealing uh, video. And while I'm revealing that, we'll be talking about everything about the update and all that stuff. But yeah, just a quick overview because a lot of you guys may have seen in my stream. If any of you guys are new watching this video, welcome. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. But yeah, as you can see, here's the item shop and you can already tell the bad problem straight away. Credit, like a normal Infidium is like 1400 credits, which is like uh, 14 key value. Uh, we've got the Rocket Pass that came out. I haven't bought it yet. There are some really cool toppers and wheels and that, so I'm probably going to buy this uh, in the next week or so and grind out some levels and that. May buy some tiers as well. Um, so yeah, we've got that. And of course, then we've got the new... Um, oh, I'll quickly show you the archiving system and then we'll get into the blueprints and into the opening. So the new archiving system, when you're an item here, you can press like L3, right? Uh, like that, and it will archive it. And it will send it to this tab here where it archives the item. And then you press L3 again. And it will bring it out and it will show it back in your uh, main inventory. It's a way to clean up your inventory now. It's pretty cool, guys. But yeah, um, as you would have seen, I had to change my intro a little bit. Um, Aoa's, um, I've got to get a new intro and stuff. So we'll be getting that soon because they're going to be selling blueprints and items and that. But for the moment, the only way you can really get credits uh, is through the game. Uh, if you do buy through the game, there will be a three-day trade lock as well, guys. But yeah, so... Um, Here's our blueprints here, a quick overrun of how blueprints work. If you had uh, crates, uh, my game's still super laggy. Uh, the game's really laggy as well, so we may have a little while unlocking all these as well because of the lag. But if you had crates, they get changed into, my phone's vibrating, uh, they get changed into unrevealed blueprints. As you can see, I've got hundreds, I opened about a thousand, I've got thousands actually left. We've got a lot of videos, about 18 videos worth. We're going to be doing 250 PCCs today. So you get those, and then you can click on these, and it reveals, as you'll see in a minute. And then when you'll see after, you um you get an unrevealed um, blueprint. And then with those blueprints, you can uh, build them. Like, if I click on this, it will cost 600 credits to build, for example, right? Uh, as you can see, my game is so laggy. But if you want to see, for an example, what I pulled... Um, on stream, uh, we pulled uh, a few black markets. I haven't pulled a pain of black markets. So that is the goal for today. So yeah, that is the goal for today. Sorry, I heard a weird noise. My computer was making a weird noise for a second there. Uh, yeah, guys, but that's basically how blueprints work. But um, like, um, there's a few bits and pieces as well. For example, a white zombie is the same price as a toon. There's new paint and black markers like painted toons, like titanium white toon. A titanium white toon's worth more than a um a white zomba. Like, but yeah, I uh, will start revealing these blueprints and let's have a look. We're kicking things off with a normal infinium to kick things off. Uh, and they're like fourteen hundred um credits to unlock, guys. So yeah, the goal is hopefully we can get some paint of black markets and that look. But RL Insider, which is um 
like the best site for prices and that guys uh, basically what they're doing is they've been putting prices on a couple of items as I've seen already um, for example a mainframe I think they put like uh, 700 to 900 credits trade value but it costs 2,000 to unlock that mainframe so like you have to pay 2,000 and sell for 700 losing all that profit so I don't know are we are you going to be having to sell these like you sell it you just sell the blueprint for like what it's worth like 2,000 and it's and then w someone can unlock it I don't know like what let me know in the comments below what you think of the update and the pricing is broken but yeah let me know what you think about the pricing and how trading and that's gonna work like it's so hard to explain it's really 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 weird but like I want to try to go for these fast but then you can get a lot of lag hopefully we can get hopefully we can get a few black markets out of 250 I had pretty good luck yesterday. I think I got about three or four out of 250, but we'll see how we go. But yeah, it's just the pricing system, guys. Like, I'll show you a bit more when we pull some decent stuff and we'll have a quick look. I'm just not sure because, like, there's going to be a value because unrevealed blueprints you can trade. Um, so you can trade that for a certain amount. Uh, which is probably going to be less than 2000 because that's how much it's going to cost to undo. But then the price of the item is less than what it, um, than it costs to actually uh, open. So normal items like legacy items and that, like you already got. Like if you already have like a, um, a mainframe, right? You'll be able to sell that mainframe for seven, eight hundred credits. So... The thing is, you want to, you basically, um, with blueprints, you just want to trade a blueprint for uh, the value, as you can see here, we just got a, a titanium white uh, dragon lord, which is a new decal. Go and see on a twinser. Yeah, but I could ramble on. It's, it's so confusing. All right, we're, what, we're only 25 in so far. We've got quite a lot. We've got to go down to till we get the 250. I'm just taking it at a sort of nice pace so it doesn't like super duper lag. But yeah guys, uh, I, as you can see, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, so make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be very much appreciated. Our EJ is going to be on the grind. As you can see, I've got a ton of variety of crates. We're going to be doing like about 18 videos. So the next few weeks is going to be super busy. Uh, we're also going to be having the Frosty Fest event, probably starting in around the 14th or, or something like that, the 15th. Maybe a bit after, in about two weeks' time. So, we'll be getting Golden Gift 2019s coming out. So, there will be um, uh, crate openings for those. You can still open those crates. I haven't opened one of them. I don't know if they reveal like this or if they still got the old animation or what. So, that's something we could check at some point as well. But, yeah, guys. Um... Let me know in the comments, like, I read all my comments, guys. I'll be going through every comment, reading what you guys think about the update. Let me know if you like it, love it, what you think about the pricing. Let me know how you think trading's going to work. Like, basically, like I said, if you already got, like, a mainframe, you'll be able to sell it for the market price of, like, 7 8 key, which is, like, seven 800 credits. But then a white zombie costs 200 credits, right? 2,000 to unlock. But then I think the trade value of it on like so if you've got it unlocked right um you could probably sell that from like say on ps4 like 70 to 80 key which is uh the value of 7800 credits so i'm thinking if you got a white zomba you pay 2000 to unlock it you can get a 5000 um um credit uh profit straight away so if I was you guys, I would not be trading your blueprints at the moment. Like, do not trade like a dissolver for like, you know what I mean? Like, if you can get 2,000 credits for a dissolver uh, blueprint, then go ahead. But that's what it's going to cost. And, and you can you see what I mean? Like, a normal dissolver, I had a look, was 2,200 to 2,400. Um, like on RL Insider, right? So if you can buy it, if you can um, buy the blueprint for cheap, like um, say 200, 
uh, then you pay uh, 2,000 to unlock it. It's going to be the same price as getting an unlocked uh, Dissolver. So I'm guessing that's maybe how the value of blueprints are going to cost. But for, yeah, for super high tier items, it's just going to be weird out to know it. Oh, there we go, guys. We got a pair of Cobalt Guardian Dracos. Nice. Uh, and we're on crate 444. Not bad. We'll see, see if we can go a bit quicker. It's not being... Uh, it's not it's not uh, playing up today. Like, yesterday it was super laggy and not registering a lot. So, it is doing a lot better today. We're getting close to being about 70 in. We haven't pulled a black market yet. Yesterday, I think I got a black market in the first 50, but... I think it's around the same odds as what crates are. Like, you got like a 1% chance of a black market, so about 1 in 100 chance, but... I oh, know. I had a mate yesterday that opened 500 and, own, and only got like one black market and like 500, so... There's a lot of items that aren't going to be affected by this, like the... Uh, the non-crate items, uh, RLCS items. Uh, as you would have seen, there's some new items, some new special edition FSLs that um, are in the gifts, what came from the cryptas. So yeah, there's some crazy stuff in this. Yeah, but hopefully we can pull some black markets, for sure. But the thing is as well, like, all these blueprints I'm getting now, right, you can't trade them up, you can't trade up the items once they're untra untrade locked. Like, for example, all these um, lone wolves and that I've got right now, who's going to want them? What am I going to do with those? Like, I'm probably just going to have to give them away, archive them, and stuff like that. It's going to be, yeah, pretty crazy like that. Some Saffron Gaidens. Yeah, the best thing so far is a pair of Cobalt Dracos. But I, want, I really want to get a Pain of Black Market. That's one thing I haven't got yet. And I've seen a lot of people pulling uh, Pain of Black Markets, guys. Like, I've seen people pulling Titanium White, Titanium White Strikers, and they're only 2,500 credits. But then, when you unlock it, right, that Titanium White, um, there's no painted prices yet, yet. but say you get a white mainframe, and it's 10,000 um, credits, right, and you get that. So you can unlock it for like 2,000, and then make an 8,000 uh, credit profit. So I think the best way... Uh, if you get a really decent item, you should unlock that item, and then it's an unlocked uh, blueprint item, and you can trade that item and make a huge profit. I think that's the way it's going to be. So, the people that had the crates already um, were really smart. Like, I saved about five or 6,000. I could have got a lot more, but I was in hospital for the first month before it. We're almost through our first 100, guys, and we have not got a black market as of yet. Try to see if we can go a bit quicker here. A lot of rares, guys. A lot of rares. I swear, crate luck was. You, you got better stuff than crate luck. Um, but. So, yeah, guys. We've got like about. I don't know how many to go. Like a hundred or something like that. Wait, we already did a hundred, right? So. Oh, yes! There we go, guys! We got our first black mark and it is painted. We get ourselves a lime-painted mainframe. Nice. It took us just a little bit over 100 to get our first black market. I almost got a back-to-back -back black market uh, the other day as well. I actually got a black market, then something, then a black market. So I was pretty close. Alright, so we got a lime mainframe. At the end, I'll quick, we can quickly scroll through what we got. If, but most, it was mostly rare, so it's not that important. But hopefully, if we can pull... I think we just got some Titanium White Reapers then. Oh, there we go. A pair of Lime Juggler Zombies. For example, right? A... Lime Zombies were like two keys, right? Which would be the value of 200 credits, but it costs 2,000 to unlock. That's the problem I've got. That's the problem, but we need to get around. Yeah, there's like a lot of items that we're definitely not be revealing. The only things I can really see 
worth revealing is like really high tier items. Well, we're slowly getting through these. How many were to go? So it's 70, I oh don't know, like 120 or something to go, guys. So hopefully we can at least pull one or two more black markets. But I'm happy we did get a painted black market. But yeah, I got a lot of these to do, guys. Speed and throw Come on, where's the next black? We need another black market. Let's see all these Dragon Lords. What am I going to do with them? There we go, guys. We got our second black market. It's uh, a normal solar flare, but that costs exactly the same as Titanium White Zombies to unlock. But for example, that costs 2,000 credits, which is like $20 right to unlock normal Dracos. But then to sell it, it's probably going to be like two to three hundred credits on um, RL Insider. So there's no point in unlocking an item like that unless you really want to keep it for like in your inventory. But then why do that when you can go buy it off the market for three hundred credits? Yeah, I just don't know what's going to happen with trade and where trading is going to go after this. Alright, so we've got about 105 to go, guys. We've got two black markets so far, so that's not too bad. So if we can pull... I, if we can get four... It, I think four out of 250 would be really good, but we'll see how we go. We've got 100 more chances after this. But yeah, so many rares. Yeah, but at the moment, what we got two out of 150, so that's a little bit better odds than uh, one in 100. So our odds are a little bit better. So many rares. Like, I don't know, I may even edit this down a bit, guys, like, if you hear me say this. Like, because it could be quite a long video. And so, it, it, like, I could edit it, I might edit out, like, a bunch of, like, uh, the rare stuff and stuff like that. We'll see what happens, as long as the video doesn't go super duper long. Uh, looking at my recording, right, it's 16 minutes, and that's without even putting on all my intros and stuff, so it could be a decently long video. Yeah, but I still got about 70 to open. I'm hoping we can get a black market before we hit 300. Yeah, there's been some lucky people pulling Titanium White Black Markets. EJ's hasn't pulled one yet. We've only pulled a Lime Mainframe. That's my first painted Black Market so far. I think... Come on. We need a Black Market soon. So many rares. Uh, well, if I edit it out, you'll miss out on all my rambling about... So, yeah, I might just keep it as one long video, guys, because I did um, talk about a lot of uh, information in that and stuff like that, and I wanted to get you guys' feedback in the comments and stuff like that, so... Might be a decent length one. We've always got those legends who go through and put all the highlights, uh, timestamps in the, um... In the, uh, what do you call it? The comments as well. But there's been a couple of good things. We've got some, like, painted Dracos, a few black markets, some... I've seen a few titanium white wheels and that, but... 
Uh, we've got about 50 to go, so I'm hoping we can at least pull one more black market out of 250. Then we can say our odds were better than uh, 1%. But yeah, like I said, my mate opened like 500 and got one black market out of 500, so it can be pretty harsh sometimes. Alright, well we got some Gaidens. What's that? Saffron. But yeah, I can, I'll quickly, um, like... For example, I painted um, very rare. It's like I think it's like 800 credits to unlock, which is like the value of like eight key sniper Draco unpainted, unfortunately. I did pull titanium white Draco yesterday. Uh, we've got about 36 to go. I, I, one more black market would be nice. Just about, just over 30 to go. Some Saffron Reapers. Come on, one more black market. Come on. Another thing as well, there's no button to press to see like the odds of opening, like the crates did. Where it would tell you like a rarity, like black market's like a 1% chance. But at the end, we'll filter it for imports, black markets, and uh, exotics only. And we'll have a quick look what we got. See if I missed anything. But mostly a lot, a lot of rares. Come on, what have we got? We've, got, we've only got a, like 17 to go or something like that. Crimson Gaiden. Come on, one more black market would be nice. Normal Zomba. Damn it. Ah, there we go. Nice. We got ourselves a Tactician Dissolver. Alright, just in the nick of time. So, we beat the odds, guys. Um, we got three black markets. We've got 11 to go. We could pull one more, but we beat the odds of 1%. We had a bit better uh, luck than you can actually get. Titanium White... Um, so what were they? Oh, if you can... Chakrams. Don't they know what Chakram there? Not too bad. Oh, well, I'll show very rares in that as well. Alright, guys. Six to go. We've got three black markets so far. Exotics seem to be pretty hard to get. Like, painted especially. Alright, three to go. And the last one is going to be a rare. Alright guys, so let's go here. Another thing I don't like is it just stacks everything randomly in here. So if we go to most recent, and we're going to go uh, import and exotic and black market. Uh, we can have a look at... Wait, why is my most recent... Why is it... Is that a most recent? Yeah. Why is it not showing the most recent ones that I got? That's really weird. It's not really in a most recent order, is it? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We've got things like Tactician Dissolver. We've got a Solar Flare, a Lime um, Mainframe, some Lime uh, Zombies. We've got some Cobalt Dracos. But yeah, guys, so that's one thing that I can see there, which is weird. Most recent doesn't seem to be really working at the moment. So if I go most recent... Okay, so the most recent tab doesn't seem to be working as well, guys. So that's another issue that's brought into, um, with the update. Now, it's sort of really mixed up. Okay, it's really weird, guys. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that big opening. There's going to be plenty more. Uh, let me know in the comments what crate you would like to see next. Um, yeah, I, there's going to be like 18 uh, videos of these. So keep an eye out. Make sure you subscribe and notifications on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time... Peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you in the next Rocket League video or stream. See yous.